Single keyword ad groups for a long time have been considered the secret source to ensuring success and high levels of profit with your Google search campaigns. And to put it simply, this strategy was that you would only have one individual keyword in each of your ad groups. While for me, while I didn't have a massive issue or problem with this strategy, I always preferred the one keyword theme method. And that is where you would group together very similar keywords into the same ad group. Although over the past 12 months, I have found that those keyword themes have gotten larger and larger. And this all comes back to the fact that Google has been drastically loosening off the keyword match types. So even when you're using phrase and exact match, these keywords will be targeting a more broader range of user searches than what they would have previously. And the reason for this is because Google no longer just targets the keywords that you have nominated to target in your search campaigns because Google now assigns a meaning to those search terms. Where Google will now not just use the keywords that you've selected, but it will also use other searches and related searches that Google deems to have the same meaning. So with that in mind and all of the data that I've seen in Google Ads, especially over the past 12 months, my very strong recommendation is that most campaigns could cut the amount of ad groups they're using by half or in many cases, even further. So to confirm four single keyword ad groups, if you had a collection of keywords which were targeting a villa resort in Bali, you would have your first ad group targeting the keywords one bedroom Seminyak Villas. You would then have a second ad group targeting one bedroom Seminyak Villas, but you would have one typed as in, instead of using the number. You would then have a third ad group around one bedroom Seminyak Villas, and then you could potentially even have a fourth ad group around one bedroom private pool Villas Seminyak. But as we said earlier, with Google targeting the meaning and not the keywords that you're using, as it stands right now, all of those individual ad groups would actually be targeting the same user searches. And this is where the issue is with single keyword ad groups. Because all of those ad groups are now targeting the same keywords, optimizations that you make, like adding in a negative keyword or adding in different ad copies, if you add them into one ad group, those changes are not gonna be represented across all of those different ad groups, meaning that the reason for why you added those optimizations like changing up the ad copy to increase your click-through ratio, or adding in extra negative keywords to filter and refine the searches that your ads are being triggered for, are gonna be undone because Google will then target those same user searches in those different ad groups. So right now, I wanna take you through the new structure that I would recommend. So with the single keyword ad group method, as we said before, you would have four different ad groups with this first ad group targeting one bedroom Seminyak Villa, the second one targeting one bedroom Seminyak Villa with the difference being the spelling and not using the number. And then you could also have one bedroom private Villa Seminyak and one bedroom pool Villa Seminyak. But as I said before, if we went through and added in some extra optimizations to this ad group, so ad group three targeting one bedroom private Villa Seminyak, those optimizations wouldn't carry over to this fourth ad group being the one bedroom private villa Seminyak. So the changes that we made in ad group three, because Google is still then targeting or triggering your searches for the same search terms, because it's assigning the same meaning to this ad group four. So with that in mind, this is the new ad group structure that I'd be recommending. So moving away from the single keyword ad group and moving into the one keyword theme method, where we are using all of these individual keywords in the same ad group. So we don't need to have these four individual ad groups. We can target this whole keyword theme in one ad group with the benefit knowing that any optimizations that we add to this individual ad group are gonna cover this whole keyword theme meaning that we don't have that problem that we had before where you'd make an optimization into one ad group and it would be overrun by another ad group because those optimizations didn't carry over to all of those individual ad groups. One of the other main reasons for why people used these single keyword ad groups is because it allowed you to make sure that you were matching in your first or second headline the keyword that the user used to trigger your ads. And we know, and this is still the fact that if a user sees the keyword that they used in the first or second headline of your ad copy, it's much more likely that they are gonna click on your ad. Because just imagine if you're doing a Google search of cheap flights to Japan, you are more likely to click on an ad which says that exact 
keyword cheap flights to Japan in the first or second headline. And the good news is, is that this is still very, very easy to achieve using the one keyword theme method. So you don't need to use the single keyword ad group theme in order to achieve this result. And let me show you how you can do this. And the way that you achieve this is by using dynamic keyword insertion in your responsive search ads. So when you're in the ad section, go into an ad and click edit. And you can see from here, here is the collection of keywords that we're using all around the same theme. So waste skip bins, skip bin hire, Brisbane skip bin hire. And by using this dynamic keyword insertion, you can see that regardless of what search term the user uses, so I've pinned this into position one, so look at this first headline in here, is that that would dynamically change dependent on what the user uses. So if they use the term Brisbane, it will show Brisbane skip bin higher, or if they just search in skip bin higher, it will show it in there. And the way that you use dynamic keyword insertion, if you're unsure, you just use the brace or the squiggly bracket, select keyword insertion, and then write your keyword in there. So remembering, all you need to do is to use that brace or that squiggly bracket in here, and that will bring up this keyword insertion option. So if you're running search campaigns in Google Ads, you should go through and update your Google Ads campaign to fall in line with the changes that Google has been making to its platform over the past 12 months. Remembering to do away with those single keyword ad groups and change over to the one keyword theme method using that dynamic keyword insertion in your ad copy so that you can still include the user search terms in those first headlines of your ads. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. And right now, just before we go, I wanna give you a free gift to help you with your Google Ads campaigns. And this is my Google Ads Optimization Checklist. And this is a checklist which lets you know exactly what you need to be optimizing in your Google Ads account every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And if you would like to get your free copy right now, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description. Thank you for joining me and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification button so that you never miss out when I release a new video on Google Ads. Thank you.